hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is Mide Nancy um, if you are new here thank you for coming and if you are a returning subscriber or returning viewer thank you for coming either ways okay so I was just going through my next content and I just felt oh I published the video of um, my experience traveling out of my country for the first time ever in my life why don't I tell you my experience how it was like and um, some of the things that I faced coming all the way from Nigeria <laughs> to France and if you're planning to travel from your country to one particular country for the first time it might interest you <laughs> Okay, so first, as I said earlier, it was my first time traveling like totally out of Africa. Yes, I've actually traveled to some other African countries, like, and this was my first time on um, a plane. <laughs> it might sound ridiculous, but that's just it. Uh, I'm not like from a very wealthy family where um, you get to go on vacations like often and stuff like that, so I'd never had the opportunity to. <sighs> it was <laughs> it was a little bit scary because I was going to be traveling alone. I was coming for the teaching assistant program in France. So um, there were some of uh, my other colleagues from Nigeria that they actually paired up and they decided to go in twos, in threes. So the day I chose to travel was a day where no one chose. So I was going to be traveling alone. Okay, yeah. so the day of traveling came and here is what to see. Ladies and gentlemen, my mouth is not. Please come forward. Please maintain. Trying to travel from one country to another during the pandemic, like it was really, really difficult. And so, Air France was not allowed to come inside Nigeria and go out. So, just certain countries, just certain, even if Air France was allowed, like it was, it was going to be very expensive, about four hundred thousand to five hundred thousand naira, which was so much money, and I didn't have such money. So I decided to go for a connecting flight. You can go for a connecting flight, um, Ethiopia Air, Egypt Air, any Air. So I decided to go with Egypt Air. So what happens is that Egypt Air will take you to their own country, which is Egypt first. So you get a connecting flight to wherever you're going. So I got um, an Egypt Air flight and my flight was to take off around, I think, 2 p.m. or something and then I would get to Egypt by 9 p.m. at night and then my connecting flight was set to leave Egypt that's Cairo was set to leave Egypt the next day by I think 9 a.m. or 10 10 10 10 a.m. then get to um, France by I really cannot remember okay I think by 2 yeah, 2 30 or something or 2 40 okay so that that was how the flight was supposed to be so normally the, i was told that normally egypt here gives accommodation if your flight is like a sleepover kind of flight you get a free accommodation like an hotel service so you can sleep there overnight and so that was what my mind was set on so we set out from nigeria so i just got on the plane Lucky for me, I got a seat by the window side.
in the Egypt air, it was not bad. Normally, they said um, normally the flights during your flight you're supposed to get like a meal, food, real food, and stuff. But because of the COVID situation, they didn't cook, so we just got um, packaged stuff, just like you saw in the video: a drink, a small juice, um, bread and cheese, then like a snack and stuff. So I think I got that twice. We got that twice, two different times one after like two hours and the other after like another two hours so we got the food twice the same thing which was a little bit tiring because <laughs> i i did enjoy most of it but some of so we got to egypt and um this is what you see so we just got down the plane i can't really hear myself again like i don't know what's up with my two ears i can't hear what people are saying i can't hear myself so this is... I think my hairs are getting better now. It's more small, actually. We are at Cairo Airport, actually, but we are still waiting for our room. Like we that we qualify for um, hotel services since our flight will be tomorrow. So they just told us to sit down in one place. Like there are quite a number of people. They just told all of us to sit sure. And they will calling us one by one. No Wi-Fi, nothing. I can't call home. I can't message my loved ones. I can't let them know. I need their word actually. But there's nothing I can do about it. Yes, he came to this side to put the password. I'll try if I can connect us first. Okay. So we just got to the room. Excited. So this is what the room looks like. Okay, what's this? This is. Thank God. We have extra. Extra duvet or something. So it's a twin bed. Say hello. This is someone I'm just meeting for the first time. And this is what it looks like. It's everything shows. Pretty amazing. Okay, so so me, by the time we got to Egypt, I was already ex exhausted. Like I was already so tired. Like I was just like <sighs> I was just tired and again I was frustrated because I felt there was going to be like Wi-Fi in the at the airport but because we were told that there will be Wi-Fi at the airport so you can do whatever you want but because of the COVID again no Wi-Fi so I was just sitting down among others and stuff so they told us to wait that they are going to they took our passport our COVID-19 negative results and uh, what else they take and uh, I don't know, I think those are our tickets. So they took it in. I don't know where they took them to, everyone basically. So they took them to go and verify if, like to confirm if one person is going to get the, um, the if you are going to get the hotel service or not. So if you are qualified, like maybe if you have a, a, um, a connecting flight for the next two, three hours, you don't get an hotel service. Or maybe midnight journey you don't get but for the next day people you are supposed to get so basically they came and they called every other person that we were together and those ones were taken to hotels and I was just like what's happening <laughs> I was already tired I was drooling I was almost I was almost falling down so, out I went to meet one of the um, officials in Egypt and stuff for um, luckily they could speak English because normally they were just speaking Egyptian language I think Arabic so i explained the situation to him that sir i have a journey and that's tomorrow and i'm so tired and blah 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 i was not like oh that this must be your passport i was like okay what happened like i've not been given an hotel and stuff so it was like oh that's sorry about that that he doesn't know why our my, my own was not qualified then one other lady to a young lady to also came to ask so it was like both of us were not qualified for the for the um, free accommodation and we were like why like why won't we be qualified do we have to sleep in this cold cold um lobby till the next day so we were like sh we shouldn't worry that it would give us a free accommodation inside the airport so voila that's how we got our room and i got a new friend <laughs> she was going to germany so she had a connecting flight from cairo to germany while i had connecting flight from cairo to france 
so we're in the room together and when i got to the hotel room um they normally if we got to the hotel service they would have served us dinner like real food but because we didn't we didn't get it they just gave us the same thing we got on the plane so they gave us more bread and more dry stuff that was really tiring <laughs> so both myself and the girl did not want to hit it so we just left them on the bed we later left them in the hotel the next day so i asked the hotel the man at the the um hotel receptionist i just asked him that can i get wi-fi he was like yes of course that it's going to be ten dollars i was like oh thank god because i had dollars with me next day we continued our journey when i woke up we continued our journey and that was when we separated at that moment we had to go separate ways. she had to go to um, one terminal and i had to go to another terminal to wait for check-in period so that was how i met my friend briefly and um, that was that in Cairo. I'm on my way out of Cairo and I'm on my way to to where is it? Um, CDG airport that was like that's Charles de Gaulle airport it was so big and uh, I didn't know what to do I was just standing and everyone was basically running I was just on my own okay fine I had to wait first at um, a part to just get my luggages so everyone was waiting to get luggage so when I got my luggages I got the stamp on my passport and blah 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 so I left that side so, so once you leave that place you have no friend no one and basically i had to still take a train or bus or anything from paris to my own city like where i've been posted so i have to leave that same day paris to my own city was going to take about like two hours or two hours 30 minutes or something so i had to leave so there was no one to communicate with and i was just like lost i was just like what's going to happen to me and stuff and also i had dollars on me and i wanted to change the dollars to euro so i had a backpack like very full this bag was very full so i had it around and i had one luggage one luggage so and i had a waist <laughs> a waist purse so that was where my mom was like i should put everything i should put all my stuff my gadgets my phone my power bank my um ticket and blah 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 so i had a waist purse so normally everyone knows that oh this person is probably just traveling for the first time or something i don't know because you know you are just looking different you have so many luggages you are black and everyone is basically with just one small tiny um luggage or something and just running walking fast fast and they know their way so i didn't know my way i was just looking like just <laughs> left and right so after going up and back up and back for like twice i decided to ask one security man that i felt looked nice so i asked him that sorry please please i'm trying to look for i asked him i have to speak french because they don't understand english so i told him i was looking for um bureau de change where i could change money so he was like oh that no problem go to the extreme end then um go down the go down the stairs then go down the second time and after that just behind one blah 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 <laughs> just ask for google edition so i was like okay so i did it the way he said i should do i was able to change my money to euro so that one was settled so i decided to take use the opportunity so i asked the um the money changing woman i was like sorry please i'm going to i mentioned my my city i was like i'm going to this place and i don't know how to get train or bus or something so she was like oh that that's not a big deal that just beside us is like a train um just beside the office is the office of like um sncf if that's like the basic train um traveling traveling train station um, um company 
so she said I should just go inside SNCF and book a train, tell them where I'm going. So I did just what she did. Prof Ref, that's the teacher I was assigned to, already told me before coming that okay, I should be able to get uh, my train ticket for um, like 30 euros and stuff. So the train, unfortunately for me, the train that I was supposed to get for like 30 euros was just leaving. So I had to wait for another one hour, 30 minutes for the next train that is going to be going to my city and that one was now double the money was about 69 euros which was i couldn't tell them no 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 it's too expensive because they don't really care there was a long queue behind me so if i don't want to go anymore i'm welcome to sleep at the airport so that was just how i just paid for it i was already tired my shoulders were aching my ends i was tired the ticket woman just told me to Sit where other people were sitting and be looking at like there's a TV like a display TV where you can see your the next journey the train coming the one leaving. So she said I should look at it and when it's time for my train I should go on board. So I just sat down and I was checking my time. Eventually, it was almost time for my train journey. So, I and I didn't like I didn't know anything. I didn't know what to do. Like nothing. I was just blank. I didn't know if I was supposed to just go to the exit or stand up. I just saw one one guy that was black. So I felt maybe he'd be interested in answering my question. So I quickly asked asked him that. Sorry, I'm going to blah 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 place and my train is. Look at my ticket. So he was like, oh, oh follow me. So he took me to another part entirely. So the security of that party took me to just told us that we should go and sit down back somewhere. So after that, it just stood up. It was just like, oh, my train is already here and they're already bought. They just quickly rushed with my load, helped me with my luggages and went. So it just told me that, okay, that when I get to, funny enough, <laughs> another, another sad thing is that they gave me a connecting train. So... I didn't even know it was a connecting train so it was the guy that explained to me at the last minute that I have a connecting train so when I get to where um, he mentioned the place Lille Europe that I should come down and ask people for blah 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 and then go to that other station to go and board for my I was just with my luggages no one no feel so stressful like god so that aside I just entered the train just like the guy told me to and I just dropped one of my luggages at the entrance because I saw some couple of luggages like people dropped their stuff so I just dropped one so the other one was with me and I checked the um, train and I saw my um, seat number let's say my seat I can't remember let's say my seat number was 97 so with my other luggage and my backpack I was looking for 97 97 and stuff and <laughs> I just remember <laughs> my bag was eating people like it was eating people they're like oh oh sekisa like who is that who is this person what was like you get my other bag was eating people I was like I'm sorry I'm sorry <laughs> you know that moment like my brain was not even booting for me to be like oh uh, uh, pardon excuse moi excuse moi I couldn't even think of anything French I was like sorry 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 like I was just fidgeting and whimpering and it was just so embarrassed like now that I'm <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it I just like so I just carried this uh, my other luggage so I went to the seat 97 and there was someone there so I was like uh as was speaking French that sorry um I'm supposed to be here you can see my train she was like and you know they're very fast in speaking and they don't they don't really have time to gist with anybody just so that i don't know where you got your ticket from but on my ticket this is my seat so i was just like so the other woman maybe beside her or behind her or something was willing to ensure not like oh let let us see my ticket so i just showed her my ticket that okay this is my ticket she was like oh that this is so basically <laughs> That was also my first time taking train to be honest there's no like we don't really have we don't have train system in nigeria we have but it's it's a little bit recent and i've never taken train when i can like we always take bus or you take um, you take cab or something or your parents drive you down so i've never taken train so that was the first time so basically in train you still have cars like inside the train you know you have so many sessions so, so those sessions were called voiture that was like cars different cars so, 
so I have apps. So I was, to, I was supposed to check on my um, ticket, the car I, I, I have. So from the car, I'll not check the number. So that car and number, they work together. So the car I was at that moment was like, let's say I was in car two, and my car was actually supposed to be car, car eight or nine. So I was supposed to look for seat, seat 97 in car nine. So I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. So I had to, but you can just walk through the corridor till you get to your car. So I was just going through the corridor looking for car 8, car 9, blah, blah, blah. Till I, I forgot my second luggage in car 2, at the entrance of car 2. So that one's still there. I got on the train, I got to car 9 or car 8, whatever my car um, number was. So, and I was told that normally you can connect um, with, you can get Wi Fi, like free Wi Fi on the train if you just connect with some code on your ticket. I connected with the Wi Fi and I totally forgot my bag, <laughs> my other bag. So, I was thinking of it that okay, I have to get my bag because I was told that. When I get down from the first, you know, I had a connecting train ticket. So when I get down from the first place, I have to take, um, I have to either walk or something for the next ten. I have to either, I have to walk or run to the next station uh, within 10, 15 minutes because my next train was going to be leaving in the next 10 or 15 minutes. I can't remember, but it was really short. So my second mind was telling me to go back and get my bag, but I was like. Okay, I'll go. I'll go and get it. It's just so stressful. Like I was just thinking of how embarrassing it was coming with my first bag, and it was eating people, and they were just making mean comments and stuff. So I was like, I'll get it when we get down. So I was devising a plan in my head that okay, this is how I'm going to do it. When we get there, I'll just quickly drop my bags and run to that other place and get it. So eventually, we got to. Um, we got to leave Europe. That was the place I was supposed to come down and quickly run to Lipsland. That was the second place I was supposed to connect to the train going to my uh, place. So, as I, had, I already planned, I came down from the train in, in rush, quickly dropped my luggages, both of them on the floor, dropped them on the floor and ran to the other car. I even missed where I entered car 4, I entered car 3 and train was about to leave. I just found my luggage and quickly chew it out and it was so embarrassing <laughs> like it was so embarrassing but i just knew that well these people don't know me and probably they will see me again so i don't really i don't really mind so i just met someone and i asked the person that sorry please this is my train ticket and i'm going to so 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 place it was like oh that you have two options you have two options either you run or walk there like it takes about 10 to 15 minutes or you take uh le metro as at that time i didn't know the meaning of metro i was just wondering that what's metro and i was and i didn't want to ask him that sorry please what's metro because <laughs> i knew it was for him to have said it casually it was something everyone should know so i was just like i was just caught between asking and not asking so i decided not to ask i was thinking metro would be like a taxi or something so i was just around but there was nothing like you know a train station like now i know like you can never see a taxi around the the station side except you leave and stop so i have another person the same question so the person was like oh like ah, you have luggages maybe you should take the metro but you don't really have time because you're okay next. just go up um the stairs and go up the second time and then come out exit just it was so stressful and I just, I was just, then I got out of this train station and rain started falling. Like, as I got there, my train was leaving. So it's not a situation where you can run after the train with your luggages and stuff. So I got there, my train left and I entered the next train. So, but the only sad story was like, I couldn't get Wi-Fi um, at the second, like in the second train. finally got to my my city and when I got there my prof was already waiting for me and she was like you must be blah 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 I was like yes and she was like okay let's go to my car and she helped me and that was how my journey was 
traveling for the first time alone <laughs> i think everyone would have different experiences so that was my own experience and um i'll see you guys in my next video <laughs> bye